Hello and welcome to an exciting edition of using Adobe Illustrator for developers viewing files from web designers. This is very useful if your web designer gives you an AI file that you need to look at. Now, I'm just gonna show you, if you've never used Illustrator before, how to do this specific task. Because it can do so many things, but we're gonna narrow it down to doing this one task. So first, what you wanna do is open your AI file, and you're gonna get something that looks like this. Probably a lot better, but we're using this just for the sake of example. Okay, so first thing that we want to do is configure the workspace so that it is very conducive to what we are doing. Uh, so when you open it, you might have a, a floating window where you can kind of move the artwork around. What you want to do is dock that. And the way you do that is you take the tab and you move it towards the top until you see this blue line and everything gets grayed out and let go. Now your panel is docked. Okay, now we're going to configure the workspace to have just the specific panels that we need. So right now it's probably set to Essentials. And what you want to do is change the workspace to Web. Now you could do that by clicking in this top right corner, or if you can't find that, go to Window, Workspace, Web. Okay, now this is already better. We have some stuff that we can use, but there's a lot of stuff that we still don't need. So we're gonna pay attention to this right side and start getting rid of some things. Symbol brushes graphic styles. Right click on any of these top tabs, close tab group. Swatches color color guide, right click, close tab group. Transform info libraries, close tab group. Now we are left with very few panels. What we want to use is this thing called the layers. Click on that and you can see this is our file in layers. The other thing we want is a panel called CSS properties. So click on that and now it will share the screen with the layers panel. Go right in between them and you'll see this uh, double sided arrow and kind of click and drag it to resize it so you can see more of the CSS properties. Now we're going to go to this long vertical line and click in between that till you see a horizontal double arrow. Now click and drag that left. Now we can see what all of our layers are named and everything. So this is a very useful way of doing it. Okay, now in the very center of the screen, you'll find the artboard. This is where all the designs are, the placement of everything, the aesthetics and every, everything that was designed is here basically. So you can navigate this and click on certain things and you will now see the CSS properties of them in the CSS properties panel. This is very useful. You can just copy and paste them to your style sheet. Click on this. It tells you that it's an image, uh, some other stuff. If you're not seeing all of these, what you wanna do is go to the CSS properties uh, panel and click on this little icon called the options, the export options. Now you want to make sure that generate CSS for unnamed objects is checked and you want to also check include dimensions and then click OK. That way it'll pretty much show you everything you need to know. Uh, now for if you've never navigated any Adobe program before in your life. I'm just gonna show you really quick how to move around this artboard easily. First of all, uh, what you wanna know is the zoom command. Now you can easily do this by uh, command on the Mac, control on Windows, plus or minus. And the plus will zoom you in, minus will zoom you out, zooms in pretty much towards the center. Now once you're zoomed in, you can move around, you can pan around this by using this thing called the hand tool. To access that, hold down the space bar, and now you see that your arrow has turned into a hand. Now you can, while you're still holding the space bar, click and move around the document like this. And as soon as you find what you wanna look at, let go of the mouse, let go of the space bar. And now you have your arrow back so you can select things again. And then maybe, maybe I want to zoom in more on this, uh, this house and see it because it's really cool. All right. 
And then you can zoom back out and look at the rest. And as you can see, when we zoom out, that this file has different artboards. That's one of the great things about Illustrator. You can have multiple artboards in one file so that specifically for web design, the designer can create his desktop version, the mobile version, tablet, and whatever else they need and put them all side by side. And that way you could look and see how they flow from, without having to navigate different files. So now we are going to navigate things with the layer panel right over here. Now, if your designer did a good job, everything will be here um, nicely organized, basically from top to bottom. As you can see in this desktop version, which is everything in here, it's everything in this layer also. Now in that, there are different layers, the header, content, and footer. And then within that are the contents. To select something within the layers panel, you cannot just click on the text or the icon or this little rectangle. You actually have to go to this spot all the way on the right where there's these little circles. And when you click on that, you now see a color box next to it. And if you notice in the artboard, you now see that that is selected. And it is also showing you the CSS properties too. So you can select things this way too if you choose to look at your properties with the layer panel. Now let's say you want to select something in the artboard and then you want to find out where it is in the layer stack. Well, that's easy. Just click on something in the artboard and then go to the layers panel and at the bottom of it you'll find this little magnifying glass and that will automatically bring you to the selected layer and open it up for you and show you where it is in the stack. Okay, now there is one more thing and that is that sometimes the designer will use a grid system to design their site. And this is very useful for responsive purposes. Now to view the guides that they used in their file, you need to go to view, guides, show guides. Now you will see the column system that they used to place their objects. If you are working with a web designer that believes in good communication, then he will leave a layer in the layers panel called notes. And in there, he will put all sorts of things that he wants to communicate to you, such as the dimensions of this guide. If you click on that, you can see the margins, the columns, the gutters, and also says what specific kind of grid this is. Now, that's very helpful in laying out your framework. So, uh, I hope you had a good time and learned a lot about how to use Illustrator to view web design files for your development. Bye-bye.